What's up, y'all? This your girl, Go Mop, coming at you guys with a one-week protective style hair update, okay? So this is what my hair is looking like after one week. It's looking a little worn and torn and all of that. I took a shower this morning, and um, this is what the back looking like. And it, get, it got wet. When I do take a shower, when I have braids in my hair, I do not put on a shower cap. I just roll this thing up here in a bun. I put it on so that way my um, drawstring ponytail won't get wet. And, and I just proceed to take me a shower and let the rest of my hair get wet because I want that added moisture in my hair, you know. But usually when I get out of the shower, I do my moisturizing seal. But since I was going to do um, record, I am going to um, go ahead and do my moisturizing seal. I use that water as my moisture. Sometimes if I do it immediately when I get out of the shower, I use the egg, the water that got on my hair during my shower. I use that as my moisturizer and I don't use my escrow spray just cause, you know, sometimes I do that. And then I, I go ahead and continue to put my oil on it, which is usually my Jamaican black castor oil. I don't even know where that's it. It's back that child. But Today, for, for today, since my hair is already dried from the shower, I'm just going to re-wet it. I just re-wet it, re, re -wet it, and it's real quick, you know, it's real quick. Splash it on there real quick. As y'all can see. Now, this right here is something that I could do once I'm already dressed because it's real it's real quick and simple. I just put it on there, rub it in, rub it in real good. Got my moisture. And then I go ahead and seal with my oil. But today I'm going to add my wild growth oil. I, I um go back and forth between wild growth oil, wild growth oil, and um, virgin hair fertilizer like today it's easier for me to put this on with my with my braided hair because I can just go through my parts and another reason why I did braid the back of my hair even though it's ratchet is so I can get through my parts so I can put my product on you know um I know um a lot of people probably thinking that I could have just brushed it up, which I could have and put it in the ponytail, but I wanted those parts in there so it'll be easier for me to get my oils in, you know, my virgin hair fertilizer or my wild grow. It's easy for me to get it in if I got parts in there, even though they ratchet, but that's the whole point of me putting it in there, ratchet or not, because <laughs> I'm trying to be on my hair growth journey, so... I need easy access to my scalp. I don't ever need my scalp to be, um, you know, covered up completely so that I can't get my product in there easy. I mean, you can still get your product in there. Now, as for this ponytail, I just kind of go in and squeeze the product under the, as good as I can get it. And I can feel it touching my scalp. So that's pretty much all I do for the ponytail. And once a week, maybe and when I feel like it, kind of when I feel like I need it, I will take this ponytail completely out. And it's been a week. It's been a week. So now I, it may be time to go ahead and take it out and moisturize the base of my, the or what you call the tip of my ponytail. Now my ponytail has been in my hair. I have not taken it out. Back in the days when I used to wear drawstring ponytails, I used to take them out every night. But this time, the pins didn't bother me because I stuck them in the right way back then. I didn't used to know there was a technique to sticking the bobby pins in. I just used to stick them in there and stab myself in the head and let it be what it was. You know, walk around with a headache like a damn fool. But uh, I'm going to take these ponytail out. Just loosen take the drawstring from around it because I wrapped it around so now all I do here is I just go the opposite way loosen my drawstring like that and I loosen pull the combs out and that's pretty much it now I have access to the little ball the hair ball so I just take the whole ball and I just moisturize the whole thing I don't take it loose for no extra this or that, I just moisturize the whole thing. I get it drenched, get it drenched in there. So that way, eventually it'll soak down to 
the end of my hair. That soak the ponytail thing and I'll just soak it. And that's what I do. And I only do that once a week. So since this is my first week doing that, we're going to soak it real good. And then that's good for another week. Since I don't moisturize this daily, I soak it once a week. That's why I do it since I don't moisturize it daily. And um, just get my ponytail, freshen that up. I try to do it finger detangling with my, you know, with my hands because, you know, it's synthetic, you know, so don't expect it to last longer. You know, it's going to look like it look unless you just want to go ahead and get a, a high price, you know, human hair ponytail. But ain't nobody got time for all that. This hairstyle ain't going to even be in that long. So I got me a good old synthetic uh, ponytail here and we're just going to let it do what it do. If it get raggedy, you know, with, by the time I'm done with, with my hairstyle, I did oh well. It wasn't meant to last that long anyway. My hair gonna get raggedy itself. So ponytail get raggedy right along with the hair. I'm just doing a little detangle. Now sometimes I do take my S curl spray if this thing gets like carried away. But I do take my S curl spray and spray this down. Now I try not to do too much and then go through with my fingers again. That makes it smooth, smoother, smoother, easier to deal with a little bit then detangle so you want to actually try to go in here every week and detangle it or you know constantly detangling these synthetic ponytails is a chore but hey it's the price you pay to try to be halfway cute child and it ain't really that much it ain't really that hard uh, i'm quite sure everybody named mama don't wore a drawstring ponytail before and um it's not that much of a complicated process unless you make it one or you don't take care of your hair properly during the week okay so i got my jamaican black castor oil because i needed it and i'm just going to get this jamaican black castor oil and i'm not going to use a whole lot that ain't a whole lot and i'm just going to rub it on and around my head that's it i'm just going to seal in that little bit of moisture just like that and rub some of my ponytail Now, I don't do, I don't like slather it in Jamaican black casserole because I'm going to do this again tomorrow if need be. You know, I know everybody don't moisturize and seal every day, but I do moisturize and seal every day. I'm just going to put this ponytail back on, same way I took it off, put a little comb in there. Also, I got my ponytail in, and um, the next thing I do, since I already am done with the moisturizer seal, so that's like one less thing i got to worry about for the week as far as taking my ponytail off i won't take it off again until next week now if you're going to leave your ponytail in for a week make sure you got your bobby pins in place where they are not touching your scalp at all do not let the bobby pins touch your scalp because you're going to start hurting you know so I'm, i got my even here i i love this um edge control and i'm just going to freshen up my edges with my edge control You know, it only take a little bit, but I don't, I don't even know why I just slathered that on. I don't, I can't even give you no good explanation on as to why I did that. <laughs> Cause I'm being extra, I guess. Um, cause it really don't take that much. But I literally just put too much on now. But anyways, we got it on there. Got it on there. You get these edges right. That's all. And, and tie it up, you know. Tie it up for a couple of hours if you go somewhere. Tie it up before you go to bed. I won't do my edges at night before I go to bed. I only do my edges when I'm going somewhere. Or if I'm not going nowhere, then I will walk around the house with my edges all fuzzy. Like for real. Why waste my edge control to be cute in the house? You know, ain't nobody going to see me. So with my edges now, I just do one quick swoop. And... One quick swoop this way. That's real quick. And then just get my comb and kind of go like this. And make some curves. That's how I'm making some curves. Shout out to Sweet Sparkle Girl. I seen that you used your little edge brush the other day. And um, you felt like I feel I was trying to like it at first. But then the more I started using it, the more I like it. So I do like my, my, you know, my little brush right here. 
You know I be watching, girl. So, and that's it, y'all. I'm going to tie my hat up. Now, if I really, like, if I'm really, really going somewhere, instead of, like, running to Walmart or running to the store, like, if me and my husband want to go out or somewhere, I will put my mousse on this and tie it up again and make it lay down flat. And I'll be good to go for another, uh, you know, couple of the more days. I won't really put no mousse on it all the time, but maybe like once a week. But that's how my hair looking right now. So that's my update. Now, and then once I, once I do all that, I might want to let it shine a little bit. And then I will spray some of this pink, Luster's Pink Glosser on it. It says, add shines, eliminates frizz for natural and relaxed hair. And it looks like this. I don't even know. It looks like this. <laughs> so, um, I got this from um, Walmart. And I will spray this on so it can get a little sheen to it, you know? Just a little sheen. And it smells good, you know? Just a little sheen. Um, my synthetic hair is not shiny, so it won't get that, you know, that fake shine look to it. Even though we all know this fake. It don't, you know, that fake glossy shine. So, spraying that sheen spray on it don't make it shine. No, you know no different that is my update now make sure you always wipe the extra grease off your forehead girl cuz you just look a mess so that's it y'all so that's all i got to say in this video and i will holla at y'all later bye